I'm Mike from Meebs Coffee Roasters and I go through five basic tips for buying an espresso machine for your cafe and discuss the basic terminology that goes with it. This video is designed for new or startup cafe owners that have never purchased an espresso machine before. But before we start, I'm going to give you a brief rundown of how an espresso machine works. The whole concept works by forcing pressurized water near boiling point through a puck of compressed coffee grinds that sit within a filter basket that produce a thick and concentrated coffee that we call espresso. The espresso machine contains a large drum of water that we refer to as a boiler. The boiler or boilers, depending on the type of machine, acts as standby heated water that is used for both the coffee and also pressurized steam that we use for milk frothing. Now that you know the basic fundamentals of an espresso machine, let's take a look at my five tips for buying one and some things to consider. Tip number one is group heads, or commonly referred to as groups. So a group head is where the water inside the boiler is transferred into the filter basket. For example, this machine has one, two group heads. The more group heads that you have, the more shots you can pull at any one time. Espresso machines are usually available in one, two, three, or even four group heads. In a commercial setting, the most common type will be two or three group heads, but there are exceptions to this. In New Zealand, most cafes going through up to about 15 to 20 kilograms per week will be fine with a two group head machine. And usually a general rule is over 20 kilograms a week will have a three or plus group head machine. An important note to consider when choosing how many groups you want in your espresso machine is that a two group machine typically uses a 20 amp power supply and a three group machine will use a 32 amp power supply or single phase as well. Tip number two is steam wands. These magical wands simply put out pressurized air. This particular machine, for example, has two steam wands. Some machines only have one. The more steam ones that you have, the higher volume of coffees that your machine can produce. An advantage of two steam ones is that you can have more than one brister behind the machine steaming milk at the same time. Tip number three, semi-automatic versus automatic espresso machines. I'm also going to cover lever and super automatic machines. So first of all, a lever machine is a traditional or specialty style machine usually with a big, large manual lever that is used to force the water through the filter basket. Semi-automatic. So with a semi-automatic machine, the brister starts and stops the extraction with the press of a button manually. Automatic machine. With an automatic machine, the brister starts the extraction with the press of a button, but the extraction stops automatically when a desired amount of volumetrics or water flow has been reached. A super automatic machine, this is usually in office or vending style machines where the whole coffee is done with the press of a button. Usually the tamping, the milk pouring, the frothing, everything is done by just pressing one button. So for more details on a semi-automatic versus an automatic machine, I've got a full video and you can check this out in my description below. Tip number four is boilers. We briefly mentioned before that a boiler is a large drum or tank of water inside the espresso machine that stores the heated water. An important note when choosing an espresso machine is the amount of boilers the machine has. Most entry level machines will contain just one large boiler inside the machine that is used for both the coffee shot and the milk steaming at the same time, which can have some influence on the degree of consistency within the machine. Medium to higher level machines can contain two or more boilers. This particular machine here contains two boilers, one boiler dedicated for the coffee shots and one boiler dedicated for the milk steaming. Some higher end machines can even have multiple more boilers dedicated for each group head or many other different configurations. An important note with boilers as well is bigger the better and usually the more capability of higher volume. Tip number five parts availability. As you're probably aware, the espresso market is flooded with so many different brands of machines from all over the world. If you're not going to be able to get parts for the machine in the future, when something goes wrong, you're going to be in trouble. Not only for repair jobs, but also the general servicing and maintenance of your machine. 
To find out if parts are going to be available, you can give your local espresso machine repair specialist a call and simply ask them. Or you can do a quick online search and see how common the brand is and see how available those parts are. So hopefully these five tips have given you some guidance and help towards buying an espresso machine for your cafe. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch and thanks for watching.